guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to bring you along on my Sunday reset routine, basically what I do to prepare for a week of work, working from home. Uh, and if you're new here, make sure that you subscribe because I make lifestyle and work content and I post videos every three days. But starting in September, I'm going to actually make an upload schedule, I promise. I think I'm just going to do two days a week. I really can't commit to three days a week with working full time. So as you've seen, I just had my usual morning routine, but obviously on weekends I wake up later and I just try to slow it down even more than I already do. And I usually will sit outside and enjoy the fresh air, but today it's raining. So unfortunately it was an inside day of reading. Today, the first thing I got I have to do is go grocery shopping before the rain starts because Steven's got the car because Steven's visiting his dad for his birthday so uh, there's no car so I need to get there and back before the rain starts. If you saw my Saturday um, relaxing morning routine, you know that usually I do my grocery shopping on Saturday but because I, I was hanging out with some friends yesterday so it's a Sunday grocery shop, which works just as well. Yesterday I just created this grocery list on my phone when I was looking up uh, recipes. and But I just have to go through and look at what I already have because I think I have a majority of these things already. That's a tip if you're looking, if you're meal planning on a budget, make sure you use the stuff you already have. I know that like that was the biggest thing I had. I was like, I thought meal when I was started meal prepping, I was like, I thought meal prepping was supposed to save you money, and it still does if you're eating out a lot. But, but if you really want to save money, you need to use what we, you already have instead of buying new ingredients every single week, which is fun and exciting, but it's not budget friendly. You know. So I've got to do that. So normally I would be going for a run in the morning, but today it's I just want to make sure that I get my grocery shopping done, so I probably will run in later in the afternoon, unless it's raining later, in which case I just won't get it done today. I'll do something else instead, maybe like some yoga, something just to move my body a little bit, but it doesn't have to be running if it's raining outside, I or I really don't have to work out at all honestly. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, I just want to point out that you see this list, how it, there's literally like nothing on it compared to what there was before, and that's why you look for recipes that you already have majority of the ingredients. Now I've got so much less that I have to get at the grocery store. Okay, so I just got back from the grocery shop, so I just wanted to show you the little bit of what I got. So I got some grapeseed oil. Grapeseed is our preferred, like, unflavored oil. So, like, we use uh, olive oil a lot, but or extra virgin olive oil. But when we want something that's unflavored for a meal, we use the grapeseed oil. And then I got some bananas, tomatoes, blueberries... Usually I get all of my produce at the farmer's market, but I just wanted to only go out once today if it's supposed to rain all day. And then cashews, uh, pasta, bread, and oat milk. Oat milk, oat milk is the superior non-dairy milk. So yeah, this is the, uh, everything, not much was needed this week. Okay, so now that I've finished uh, putting away the groceries, I think I'm actually gonna go for my run because it's gotten a lot sunnier out and I don't want it to be too hot when I'm going for my run. So I think I'm gonna go now, but I need a second coffee, I'm so tired. But I'm hoping the run will wake me up some more and then I'll have more motivation to clean and stuff like that. Actually, when I get back from my run, I'm going to take a shower, put in a hair mask, put on a face mask, probably an eye mask too. All that self-care stuff that I usually do on Saturdays, I'm going to do today because I didn't really have time yesterday. 
but I'm going to do that today and then I'm going to, while all that sinks into my body, I'm going to edit my video and do the thumbnail for the video that's going up on Monday, which is a work week in my life. And I'll probably watch some Selling Sunset when, while that's going on, then I'll actually get into what I'm doing to prepare for the week. I always like to just take a really slow mornings on the weekends because just because I think it's really important that to take some time on the weekends when because I'm really busy during the week and that's why I do the cleaning after work a lot of times is a little bit of cleaning so that I don't have to do as much on the weekends. So now I'm just procrastinating before I go for my run so I'm gonna go now and hopefully it actually doesn't rain anymore today that would be awesome. And now because Steven's not here I can blast some music when I'm cleaning today. So I've got my hair mask in and my face mask on and I'm starting to get a little hungry so I'm going, once this is finished drying and I can peel it off, I'm going to eat breakfast. I'm probably just going to have peanut butter on bread because that sounds really good right now. But in the meantime, I'm just going to go grab my laptop and do some work while I listen, I probably watch Selling Sunset. <laughs> So it's, I'm sorry the air conditioning is probably so loud, but it's been, I've been sitting here for way too long. I just got really invested in Selling Sunset. I only have two more episodes left in the third season and I only started it on Friday. So, <laughs> whoops. Anyways, the rest of the day, it's only 1230. I'll, I have still plenty of time to be productive. I might not get everything done, but. That's not the end of the world, right? Anyways, I'm gonna actually finally go wash my hair mask out and then I'm gonna do the rest of my skincare, get changed into comfy clothes, and the next thing I'm going to do is start cleaning, I think. See you, yep! I'll talk to you guys when I'm out of the shower. And actually, I probably won't talk to you. I'll probably just do a bunch of time lapses and be cleaning. So I'm out of the shower and I'm finally going to actually start doing work for the day, prepping for the week. So the first thing I do is I always change the sheets on the bed is every single week and I start the load because as you guys probably know, sheets take so stupid a long time to dry in the dryer, but I am dragging ass. So I need the coffee <laughs> and I know it feels, seems like I'm procrastinating and I am. It, shit happens, okay? But while I drink my coffee, I'm going to do a to-do list of cleaning. So what I do every single week is I do one big list of everything that needs to be cleaned that week and I try to do as much as I can throughout the week but then whatever I don't get done I do on Sunday. So I'm creating the list for next week and I'm gonna do the cleaning that I didn't get done last week today but also like the stuff that just needs to be done every day like dishes. Anyways I'm gonna stop procrastinating go get myself a friggin coffee and get this day started. Um, first I guess I'll go show you my outfit for my cleaning outfit. The lighting is not great in my apartment but that being this is the fit. I always have fuzzy socks on. I swear last time I showed you I was wearing these exact same ones but I swear I have other ones. And then I'm just wearing black Gymshark leggings and a gray just oversized t-shirt that I'm pretty sure I got at like winners or something like that but yeah I'm gonna go sit outside as long as things are starting to dry it never ended up raining again but I just, it did rain like this morning so I'm not sure if things are completely dry yet but 
If it is, I'm going to go do my to-do list outside. Hey guys, so I did all the cleaning now that I absolutely had to do. Um, there's still some things I'd like to get done before the week starts, but they're not really 100% necessary. I put in my, I changed the sheets on my bed. I washed the dishes and put dishes in the dishwasher, put away dishes, all that. I put away laundry that I had sitting out and I'm, and I just took out the garbage and recycling. But now, something that I really want to make sure that I have done for the next week is to meal prep my breakfast. I also usually will meal prep a dessert on Sundays just because I really I really like to bake and also I know myself I know that if I don't bake some if I don't have something sweet on hand I'll probably go and buy like candies from Rexall or something like that and I know like they're all full of sugar. It's just that I at least I know what is getting put into the desserts if I make it at home. I'm not making dessert this week. I'll probably make it um, during the week just because uh, because I was here alone this weekend. I treated myself and got like ice cream and a few treats from Cineholic, which is like a bakery in Ottawa here. I think they are in the Glebe and they make uh, like sit really fancy cinnamon rolls that taste so good but I have I bought like two of them and I still have one left so I'll probably have that for dessert tonight and there, it also came with edible cookie dough so me and Steven will probably split those tonight and I also bought some ice cream as a treat for myself so I have those in the house already so I'm gonna finish those before I bake anything but I do want to make sure that I'm prepping a breakfast because again it's just easier like to have something on hand that you can just heat up or something like that like this week I'm making blueberry muffins so I don't have to heat it up during the week but it's so nice to have things already prepped for the week because I'm working from home I usually prep my lunches on Monday and then make it for the rest of the week make enough for the rest of the week but we have some leftovers from last week of the sandwiches that we made so I'm not going to start prepping this the pasta that I'm gonna make this week until we finish the stuff from last week I'm gonna go make those blueberry muffins so I'll burn you along I'll show you the finished product when they're done I'm not going to try bother trying to show you the baking process because it just takes so much longer when I have when I set up the camera. So I'm just going to like crush it and then I'll show you the final product when they're out of the oven. So the muffins just came out of the oven so I'm going to show you them but while they were baking I just did another load of laundry. The next part of my Sunday reset routine is to actually relax allow myself to do pretty well nothing for the rest of the night. Steve and I are going to bake, to uh, cook dinner together 
and then I'm probably just going to watch a movie and relax for the rest of the night. So here are the blueberry muffins. Oh, they smell so good. Okay, so it is now just around 5 o'clock and I'm going to start dinner because I'm pretty hungry. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you when it's done. It's going to be it's pork chops with like mashed potatoes and vegetables. And it's going to be so good. I'm so excited. So it's now almost 7 and we just finished dinner and I, the last thing I always do on Sundays is I watch a movie. I spend the rest of the night just relaxing and watching a movie because I don't really otherwise get the chance and there's so many good movies and stuff out there. So tonight I think I'm going to watch The Lost Husband because I'm feeling moody so I want to watch a love story. But I'm probably going to end this video here. But if you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And subscribe for more work and lifestyle content. And if you made it this far, please leave a comment down below. Because I'd love to get to know any of you who are watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!